Hello, my name is Ty. I am your homicidal chauffeur, and welcome back to Football Manager 20, where you join us in an unfortunate but familiar position. Ninth in the table after six games. We won our first game of the season, as you may have seen, against Lions Bridge FC. And we managed to draw on the road against heavily favored New Jersey Copa. In the next game against New York Athletic Club, here I believe the cross is deflected and it manages to fool the keeper and it's 1-0. But then in the second half, Cobra Rubius manages to bring one back with a powerful header. But in the 71st minute, the cross from Glazer to Alcantara and Solas cannot keep it out and it finishes 2-1. And since then, we've conceded 12 goals in 3 games. And today we play 2nd place Charlotte Eagles. And more bad news, we've managed to lose first choice keeper to Indy 11, who are a pretty big club. So we're back with Odenbeck. And changes to the back four as well. I brought Clifford Orn at right back as a sub in the last game, and he played fairly well, so he's in today. Rob Greaves comes on to replace Dasevic. At center back. Eric Elliott is team leader at center back. And moving to the left we have Alex Gental. Who's just about cutting the mustard on the right. But he's in for the young Andy Campbell who has been struggling. Norcas continues to start at right midfield. We have youngster John Reed who has somewhat struggled, in my opinion, but does have a goal and an assist at ball-winning midfielder. Joining him is Camille Pramel, who has played fairly well. And on the left, we have another youngster, David Retzlaff, who's probably our unquestioned starting left winger at the moment. And up top has been a rotating cast of characters. But it's currently John Bennett along with Brad Covarrubias. A lot of yellow and orange on the tactics chart and not quite enough green. But I like to think that me and the assistant are coming to some kind of compromise. From Durham, North Carolina, it's Tobacco Road and Charlotte Eagles. We are heavy underdogs. Wet and windy conditions, 18 degrees Celsius. Charlotte two points off league leaders, Virginia Beach United. Let's show the world what this team is about. We're probably about losing, but we'll see what happens. Charlotte kick it off. Here's Wood back to Nave. Long ball up for Swinehart. Good play by Elliott. Here's Retzlaff. Tries to play the long ball. Cobra Rubius can't get on it. I'm going to go ahead and mark Graves here. I think it might be his first professional start. We have been playing Dasevic in that position. And he hasn't played since the preseason. Here's a wide ball out to Swift. Who tries to play it over to Wood. And indeed, it's in the back of the net. Greaves lost his man. And it's 1-0 in the second minute. Good ball here from George. Out wide to Swift. Clifford does a good job to pressure him. But nobody on Wood. And it's an easy header. I really been giving up a lot of these goals from crosses. So I've been trying to go ahead and widen the defense. Long ball here. Reed intercepts. Gives to Bennett. Pramel out to Norcus. He can't quite get on the end of it. Lugo plays it up for Greaves. Good stop there by Odenbeck. Here's Swift over the wall. 
and in the back of the net it's 2-0 ninth minute now Kevin Swift with the free kick goal Odenbeck just quite can't react fast enough Elliot to read and that's up for Retzlaff but too far Cantu with the back pass to Odenbeck the opposite keeper ironically he plays that long and it's out of bounds 12th minute now Cantu up for English Gentile can't stop him but Greaves will clear he's already on the yellow as well Here's Swift. Reed heads it down. Cleared away over the bar by Charlotte. Odenbeck plays it long. Cobra Rubius can't get on it. Promel will win it instead. Only to Swinehart and Elliot has to foul. Here's the yellow coming out I believe. Indeed. So both center backs now on the yellow and Promel is down hurt. So from bad to worse. Insult to injury. Go ahead and take him off. He's not going to be mandatory today. So we'll move Reed over. Bring Stanislaw on. I'm happy with that. He's good on that position. In fact, it might even make us better, except Stanislaw is not in form. Here's Swift again, and almost number two from him. Here's Swift. Plays it short to English. And he rockets one wide. 21st minute. Swift again. Now can't win the header. Morcus picks up a yellow. And Lugo will take the free kick this time. And Wood makes it 3-0. No offside. Swift another free kick. Ooh, Odenbeck does well to keep it out. And that's cleared away by Elliott. I feel like we're giving away too many free kicks. I may have to tell them not to get stuck in anymore. That's well over everybody and out for a throw. Here's Clifford into Norcus. Good tackle there by Beaumont. Norcus again. Does well to get on the pass here. Has a little bit of space. Plays it to Bennett. That's out for a throw. Clifford again. It's Stanislaw. Loses the ball to Swift and he's on the counter attack. Still Swift. And Stanislaw does well to win the tackle. Norcus keeps it in as well. And plays it up. Here's English to George. And Odenbeck will collect. So it seems like we've stopped the bleeding here. 32nd minute, 2-0. We're getting a little bit more possession. Remember, we are at home, so we really cannot get blown out like this. Rubius does well, and Odenbeck has to push it over. Here's Norcus. Into Retzlaff, and Bennett gets one back. Makes it 2-1 to one in the 33rd minute. Work is here with a decent corner. Charlotte just can't do anything to clear. And Bennett ends up on it. Wood back to me. Beaumont now. Clifford. Back pass to Odin back. And he plays it long. Cover Rubius wins the header. It's Stanislaw. Here's Swift. Up for Wood. He has lots of space. And that's out for a corner kick. Swift. Wood wins a header. And it's cross the line again. This time Ronnie Lovejoy. Comedy of errors here. Nobody for Tobacco Road. Willing to clear the ball. A few times now, we've let it bounce around inside the six. And it's three to one. 39th minute. And 
Stanislav apparently not having a good game at 6-3. Seems like he's played fairly well to me. Bennett, the goal scorer, the only one doing semi-decent. Oh, almost crosses the line there as it hits the crossbar. We can't take Reed out. I've already put Stanislaw on. He's our only center midfielder on the bench. Gentile and Clifford both not playing well. Anybody in a defensive role has been poor. Kovalubius, lots of space there, but can't test the keeper. And it's halftime. 3-1. Four shots on target to three from Charlotte. That seems fairly even. 53% possession. I'm going to say you've been unlucky. Defense, though, you need to do better. There's more to come from you. So I am going to put Campbell back on for Gentile, only because he has the yellow. We also have double yellows at center back. I'm not sure I want to put Dasovic back on. But obviously by how many goals we're conceding, we don't have a lot of good options there. Too many young players is probably part of the problem. Defense is a very complicated position. I'm going to try to test the keeper a little bit. Let's be more disciplined with the ball, hopefully. Otherwise, start the second half, I guess. How are the stats looking? I haven't looked so far. Passing is not horrible at 68. And we're actually fairly close to what Charlotte had. I feel like 3-1 is not an appropriate reflection of the game. Giving away easy chances at at defense is part of the problem. Here's Cover Rubius picks up the loose ball. Just tipped wide there by Odenbeck. Here's Norkis. Into Retzlaff. He can't keep it on frame. Clifford into Norcus. Stanislav plays it long for Bennett. He does well to get on it. Can he find Kova Rubius? Retzlaff instead. Here's Reed. Back to Bennett. One side. Nope, apparently not. Beaumont into Swift. Beaumont plays it up to Wood. Greaves loses his man again. Here's English. Plays it over for Swift. Another counterattack here by Charlotte. An errant pass now. Back to center back now. Find Swift again. George plays it up for Wood. That's offside. Yep. Into the 61st minute. Lugo over to English. I'm still looking maybe to make another sub. Seems like we don't have a lot of good options at the moment. Norcus and Retzlaff both playing well. Campbell not being too bad right now at a 6-7. Greaves and Elliott both at a 6-4. Right, 75th minute now. I'm going to go ahead and put it on balanced. At least try to take a shot here as Curva Rubius brings us within one. 3-2 now. Short throw here by Clifford. Finds a Stanislau. Give and go and a good cross there. Clifford with the assist. Kova Rubius with his fourth of the season. Beaumont plays it up. Clifford to Greaves now. Here's Clifford again. Loses out to Wood. And that's out for a throw. Here's Pierce. Gets the cross in to Wood. Down for Lovejoy. Good stop there by Odenbeck. Pierce again. Ooh, believes it was Greaves there that got the block in. Lovejoy. Greaves wins a header. English to Lugo. And Elliott plays it up. Reed just gives it away. Kind of sloppy there. He had time and space. 
Here's Bennett now to read again. And again, he plays it long. Cantu loses out to Retzlaff on the counterattack here. Plays the cross in. Nobody's home, though. We need maybe a couple more players on attack. We do have the dying moments here. We need some kind of chance. Clifford, can we play him up more? Wing back support. That's fine. We'll leave it at that. Ten minutes left of normal time. We want to sub out. We need to take somebody maybe who's tired at this point. Rubius or Retzlaff would be prime targets. We do have Jeremy Davies on the bench. No. Yes, here. And we'll put him in an attacking role as well. Inverted winger. Yeah, I like that one. Swift. Tackle there by Clifford. That's a foul. Here's Lugo. And Wood, with a powerful header, makes it 4-2. I think part of the problem is I've been going too attacking too early. And that's why we're conceding so many goals. But they don't have a lot of faith in the forwards to get it done by themselves. They need the assistance. Let's take it back to cautious. I won't worry about the players that I put on attack. We'll still give it the college try, but I don't want to get blown out here any more than I already am. And there's another lazy giveaway to Wood. He's been all over our defense today. Remler to Lugo. And no reason to take any chances here for Charlotte Eagles. Swift beats his man. Can't beat a Stanislau. I think Norcus will clear it up. Here's Davies. Throw in now from Clifford to Norcus. Has a little bit of space. Can't find his man. Campbell instead. Gives it right to Davies. And that's into the box. But nobody has the awareness to try to attack it. Davies now. That looks offside. Doesn't matter. It's cleared away. In from Beaumont to Remler. Clifford now clears it up. Here's Davies again. Can he make the pass this time? Campbell to Davies. Over to Norcus. And he can't quite pick out the far corner. Final minute of normal time here. Stanislaw picks up a yellow. Four players on the team now out there with the yellow. Here's Davies, tries to give it to Reed, and he tries to play it out wide, but that's way out of bounds. Three minutes of added time now. Another game conceding over three goals. Here's Odenbeck. He plays that long for Davies. Good tackle there by Cantu. Campbell, again, plays it up for Davies. He's got a little bit of space. Makes the cross for Bennett. And Odin Beck with a good save. Norcus. Into the box for Graves. Headed down for Davies. Back into the mixer. Graves again. Deflects around. Finally, Charlotte will clear. Here's Norcus. With the corner. And there's a foul by Bennett. Odenbeck with the free kick. English to Bennett. And a foul there by Lugo. Three minutes are up. Norcus with the free kick. Into Elliott. He heads it well wide. And that should do it. Indeed. It's 4-2 to two in the end. Closer than some might have predicted I would say. 7-6 to six in shots on target with 50-50 possession. We've done well, but they are the better team. We need to stop conceding so often. I'm not happy. So Permel is out two or three days with a tight thigh. That's not a problem. 
Indeed, Graves makes his professional debut. And apparently I'm unwilling to experiment. Using my 442. Despite being winless in 6. So maybe I'll have a look at that. And next time when we come back, we'll be playing a new formation. Certainly not the worst idea I've heard. As I said, we might need to get the forwards a little bit more support. But that's going to be it for now. I'm down to 10th in the league. My next game is against Junior Lone Star at home. So if we can't get the three points there, our job might be in jeopardy. I'll probably play three or four and come back maybe for the New York Athletic Club game at the end of next month. But our momentum, that that it was, has certainly halted and we need to find something new. But for now, my name is Ty. I am your homicidal chauffeur. This has been Football Manager 20. Thank you very much. Please like and subscribe and have a good night. For the moment, we're in food danger, but that won't last too long. It's not gonna go well for you, my friend. I'm sorry. Here's Maddox, and he puts that just inside the far post. Either that, or we'll set off some more aliens, but either way. We can, and that's job done.